These are the injuries people got in the Prince Edward Station on 31st of August. Reporters of Hong Kong Connection have reached some of the victims. These are photos we collected on the internet in mid-August. At least 27 people showed us their symptoms allegedly caused by the police's tear gas. The anti-extradition bill protests have been going on for months. Facing the accusation of using excessive force, the police stress that the force they have been using is appropriate. But is there a boundary to their appropriateness? Packing Lerm is a digital journalist. On the 31st of August, he was reporting the protest. He arrived at the Prince Edward station with protesters and filmed this footage. The police have repeatedly denied beating civilians. They claimed that they used professional judgment to tackle delinquents. But they once admitted that it was difficult to identify people's identity amid chaos. Hong Kong Connection has reached one of the injured persons in the MTR. We will call him Awa. After joining the assembly in Hong Kong Island that day, he took the Kun Tong Line Tuking Ling bound train and came across a conflict between some protesters and some passengers. The train stopped at the Prince Edward station and the MTR issued an emergency alarm. Amid chaos, he got onto the Chunwan Line central bound train on the opposite platform. Soon after, he was beaten and injured by the police. Peter, another 31st August victim we have reached, said the police beat people indiscriminately that day. The police stress that their action was based on on-site observation and professional judgment and those who got into a fight with other passengers on the Tuking Ling Ban train. The footage filmed by Packing Learn has shown that the police just kept using pepper spray on people who were kneeling for mercy. The 
除咗兩位頭先你提及嘅人士以外咧，其實佢身邊係仲有其他人嘅。咁而我哋嘅同事喺個車廂，其實一直有其他人咧係一個對抗。嘅情況，面對嗰個威脅咧，所以佢採用咗一啲適當嘅武力去處理當陣時嘅情況。但係當場以我所見，冇一個人去做一個還擊嘅動作。如果佢覺得依班人係示威者嘅話，或者係極端暴力分子，點解要下下膊頭呢？咁但係佢哋成日都話黑制嘅武力，咁其實佢哋係可以打手啊、打腳啊，甚至去兩三個人去圍捕，但係佢哋冇咁做，純粹係一個宣泄發泄。Voluntary first aider Ahim offered medical help to three injured persons on the train on the 31st of August, together with his friends. He said the victims' heads bled a lot and their condition was serious. 聽到 I first say， 跟住我哋就喺呢一道門呢一個位置入車廂，喺呢一度就有個傷者，見到佢頭部出血，咁其實佢當時就係趴咗喺呢一個位置。三個啊，三個，個頭啊，係個頭啊，三個。三個傷者個頭都指唔到血，我講緊我用咗十分鐘都指唔到血。唯有就係隔住啲敷料就再冚紙巾又好，冚 M 巾又好，誒冚毛巾都好，我都,都一定要冚落去咯。Seeing how people got severely injured, Ahim criticised the excessive force used by the police. 每個門口都有粗龍喺度，喺度指罵，要求裏邊嘅人離開車廂。我呼吸咁企曬喺度，攞住支棍擺咗喺度。咁你叫人點出嚟啊？啱粗龍係好多嘅粗口啦，咁亦都有用曱甴去稱呼裏邊嘅市民啦。我真係覺得嗰班攞證牌嘅男仔去攻擊呢一班人咯，去首先係拗爛佢哋嘅遮。再去向裏面嘅人去襲擊，咪一個無差別嘅攻擊咯，喺我嘅角度，亦都係一個濫用武力嘅情況咯。呢個係一個。當時嚟到油麻地就喺呢度出啦，有一個輪椅就坐咗喺度，跟住有兩個傷者咧，就係坐咗喺呢兩張凳上面。The footage shows that people were seriously injured. It also shows firemen and ambulance men arriving at the Yamate station. They transported the injured persons with stretchers and assisted them to leave. The police closed the Prince Edward station that evening. No injured persons could be sent to the hospital at once. The fire services department initially said that there were 10 injured persons, but later the fire services and the police said only seven injured persons were sent to the hospital from the Lychikok station, without mentioning anyone being sent to the hospital from the Yamate station. In the end, Hong Kong Connection found out that three injured persons were sent to Kwanghua Hospital from the Yamate Station, confirming that there were actually more than seven people admitted to the hospitals as the officials had claimed. The fire services department was told that these people were injured from fighting, so they did not count them as injured persons of the Prince Edward Station incident. Our journalists went to a few hospitals and reached the injured persons of the Prince Edward Station incident on the 31st of August, including three of them who were sent to Kwanghua Hospital from the Yamate Station after being injured from the police's beating. They were arrested for alleged unlawful assembly in the hospital. Legal professionals questioned the police's assaulting, arresting, and then making up charges. That the police could have violated the principle of first investigating a possible crime before arresting with force. Were those arrested during the Prince Edward Station incident involved in violent assault, as the police had claimed? Hong Kong Connection asked the police what charges were made to these 63 arrested people. The police replied that 54 were involved in unlawful assembly. The other nine, possession of explosive or offensive weapons. All the injured persons we managed to get in touch with 
have been arrested. They were unable to reveal too many concrete details or be interviewed. The anti-extradition bill protests have been going on for months. Smoke and haze were often seen at the conflict front line. The police have fired thousands of rounds of tear gas. In August, Hong Kong Connection looked for tear gas victims on the internet. Their conditions were worse than what the police had claimed. A total of 45 people contacted us. 27 of them were willing to be interviewed and filmed. 17 of them were suffering from swollen and inflammatory skin conditions, which were the most common symptoms. This protester, a Shamshui Po resident, got tear gassed on the 5th of August. She was only wearing a T-shirt and short pants. Symptoms of skin inflammation caused by tear gas usually last for a few days up to around a week. However, as conflicts continue, Protesters who tried to put out tear gas canisters up close by hand have started to suffer from chemical burns. Dr. Lau Kai Ki had worked in the Hong Kong Poison Information Center under the hospital authority for 10 years. He said eczema and asthma patients were at higher risk. The police have been firing tear gas intensively during the ongoing conflicts. Even if the tear gas has not expired, the victim's symptoms would only get worse. Pansi 
Among the cases Hong Kong Connection has reached, more than half of the victims had symptoms of diarrhea, which usually lasted for a few days. Some even suffered from hematosia. The doctor believed that she had swallowed saliva and nasal mucus, containing tear gas particulates. The chemicals had damaged her intestines. The effects of tear gas on public health have rarely been studied around the world. To tackle the citywide anti extradition bill protests, tear gas has been fired in densely populated neighborhoods. But does the dispersion of smoke mean things will be okay? On 25th of August, the police fired many rounds of tear gas near Young Oak Road Market in Chun Wan. In order to find out whether the chemical agents of tear gas would remain in the neighborhood, a team of chemical engineers arrived two hours after the firing and collected environmental specimens at sheltered spots. Since the 18th of August, the laboratory team has collected over 200 samples from five places where tear gas was fired. Looking at the results of Chun Wan in Young Oak Road Market, no chemical residue was found. It might have to do with the thorough sanitization of the market afterwards. In the Chun Wan Park Tunnel, over 200 meters from the market, chemical residue was found even two days after tear gas was fired. It proves that with the help of wind, CS gas does spread considerable distance. Residents living above the 20th floor said they also smelt the tear gas. Among the samples first collected on the day when tear gas was fired, the one from the balcony contained a bit of chemical residue. It could not be found again a day after stormy weather. The team has also made some surprising discoveries in Hong Kong Island. Outside a sheltered fast food restaurant in Admiralty, Siddick Tower, and around the dried seafood street area in Sheng Wan, high contents of chemical residue were found. In Sheng Wan, some samples were collected on the 18th of August, 21 days after tear gas was last fired in the district. And that was the longest remaining time among all the samples. In Shem Shui Po, where tear gas had been used time and time again, samples were collected by the team on the 15th of August, 14 days after tear gas was last fired. Chemical residue was still found in the samples collected at the entrance of this building, where an elderly home was situated, and even from an outdoor hawker stall. <laughs> The police have claimed that the use of tear gas is a minimal force and have been using it frequently. Some people believe the police have underestimated its effects on residential neighborhoods. 沒有槍就是得個冷氣機去做通風
頂唔順，咁所以先至落嚟諗住呼吸新鮮空氣，點知啲催淚彈就繼續射埋嚟啦。我覺得警方係需要道歉。我哋係唔係好希望喺一啲民居附近去使用催淚煙嘅？咁但係個問題就係、是，當一啲嘅暴力示威者係佢哋主動選擇去到嗰個區份去搞事，去、呃、做一啲嘅暴力嘅行為，係去到嗰個位置咧，其實我哋警察亦都係別無他選。催淚煙就一定係傷害你㗎啦，但係唔會比香港人嘅感情嘅傷害會更加深咯。警察哥哥，我諗大家都係同一個屋企，即、就、係、是、香港。好希望大家唔好再傷害大家